All right. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for uh, today's uh, or for joining today's Q and A session. Uh, sorry, we had a little difficulty with me maneuvering the mute button. Uh, before we start taking questions from the audience, uh, we wanted to provide some clarification. Uh, I know over the last couple of days, there's been some questions about uh, payments and uh, uh, routing numbers, et cetera. So we've got the agency's uh, chief financial officer on uh, with some uh, updates. So Jason, why don't you go ahead and give the update? So one problem we've been seeing is that a lot of individuals are trying to use a routing number designated for an ACH account. Um, while they're trying to submit a wire. So since those payments aren't compatible with each other, that ACH number won't work. Um, providing that ACH number in this public meeting isn't something I'd feel comfortable with, but if you could email me at jlaforest at azgaming.gov, it's something I'll be able to respond to and give you a correct routing number if you're trying to submit a domestic wire. Um, once again, that email is jlaforest, so J-L-A-F-O-R-E-S-T at azgaming.gov. And thank you, Aiden. I was just about to post it in the comment section. But um, if you're having issues with that routing number, trying to send a wire, that's why. And um, just reach out to me and we'll get you squared away. Great. Thank you, Jason. And um, uh, we will make sure that we uh, put Jason's uh, address in the uh, Q and A, the written portion that shows up on the uh, uh, the uh, on our website. So, um, are there any questions for Jason on any of these issues? Uh, I'll go to uh, Nate Reed. Nate, your hands up. Yes, thank you for taking my question. Um, it's in regards to the individual disclosure checklist. Um, a couple of my colleagues who are uh, filling out this application had questions regarding the requirement for a credit report from within the last six months, detailed, no summaries. Uh, I'm just hoping or wondering if you can provide any more details on what exactly that means and if there's any third parties we should be looking to to provide that, that credit report or any that we should stay away from. Go ahead. With regards to the credit report, um, it's some people have um, are tracking it on their own annually, and I guess we get summaries. We just have the score and no other information. So we're looking for details, which includes all accounts, payment histories, missed payments, collections. Um, everybody is entitled by law to have a credit report from each of the credit bureaus annually free. You usually have to pay for your credit score. So any of the credit reporting uh, agencies, you can get a free one. And uh, within the last six months, we will take one from any of the credit bureaus. Experian, Equifax, or TransUnion. I'm sorry, Experian, Equifax, or what was the last one? TransUnion. Okay, thank you so much. And Nate, uh, just for the record, who do you represent? I'm with PointsBet. Okay, great, thank you. Thank you. Uh, and just uh, uh, for everybody, when you uh, are called on, please first name, last name, and who you represent. All right, Scott Hansen. Thank you. Yes, Scott Hansen. I'm with HMA Public Relations. A uh, couple of quick questions. Um, we have uh, all of the documentation to, to submit online. However, I'm curious as to uh, how you would like the fingerprint card and the photo submitted. Uh, fingerprint cards, um, we have it listed on our frequently asked questions. The address um, has fingerprint cards mailed to us. Um, make sure they're signed with your name. Uh, bio information, social security number, and um, go ahead and mail them directly to the, the agency on our website address. Okay. And what was the other question? I know you had another one. Uh, yes. Um, I think the personal application, if I'm remembering right, requires a photo. Yeah, you can submit that as a JPEG. Oh. Or a PNG. Oh, okay. Perfect. Thank you. Oh. You know, one, I have right. one other question. Um, so after the ninth, when all this stuff is due, uh, how long of a process is it before uh, entities are either approved or not approved? Uh, well, uh, for vendors, et cetera, that's on a sort of a rolling basis. The, uh, you know, the allocation decisions on licensing 
uh, for uh, event wagering will be made by August 27th. Thank so you. if you're either a supplier or a vendor or whatever, those decisions will be on sort of a, a rolling basis. Okay. And, and if someone misses that night, that August 9th deadline, what happens to them? Uh, for, for, for oh, registration. again, suppliers, et cetera, they don't, uh, they're, they can submit on an ongoing basis. Got that it. date, that date, that August 9th date is out there is for event wagering operators, management service, uh, providers or designees. Okay. Thank you. You bet. Uh, okay. Uh, Sarah Dalsheim. Hi everyone, I'm back again. Uh, I um, My name is Sarah Dalsheim. I am representing San Carlos Apache Tribe, but today uh, my questions are more for the marketing affiliates. Will ancillary suppliers be allowed to work in the state while they wait for a decision, especially in light of the August, uh, or um, excuse me, the September 9th uh, launch date? Some of the marketing affiliates are looking to uh, begin working immediately. So they are wondering if there's any interim period while they wait for a decision on their license before being approved? Uh, suppliers will be able to work on a temporary license. Great. And will they will they get some sort of acknowledgement of that once their application is submitted? Uh, yeah, they would be issued a temporary license. Great. Thank you. You bet. No. All right. Uh, any questions? Uh, from the phones. All right. Uh, well, we certainly appreciate everyone's participation. Again, as these uh, tend to be shorter and shorter, I guess we're making headway, so that's, that's good. Um, as always, the questions that are uh, answered today uh, will be showing up on our website later today. You can access the frequently answered questions or asked questions on the uh, uh, either the event wagering or the fantasy sports page. Uh, there's a link there. It will take you to the same one. Uh, Aiden just put the link down in the, uh, uh, in the chat box. Uh, so feel free to check there later today. Uh, please use that as a reference for questions that you might have. Uh, that have been previously answered. We'll be meeting tomorrow for our last Q&A session. Um, so please tune in, uh, bring any last questions you have. And of course, afterwards, uh, as we go into the next week or whatever, uh, you will be able to reach out to the department to ask for questions versus uh, email. It just won't be in this format. So we appreciate everyone's participation. Uh, and before I conclude, uh, I'll just ask one more time, any, any questions uh, from the group? All right, have a great Thursday and we'll see you here tomorrow at 11 a.m. Thank you, Director.